Hey guys, Liz Merrick here with The Sugar Geek Show. I teach cake decorating tutorials. And today I'm going to do a super simple tutorial on how to edit your photos from a picture that you took with your phone. I know that most of us have a pretty good phone these days that is totally capable of taking a pretty good picture, at least for social media purposes. I have noticed though that not many really know how to actually edit the photo. They think they need fancy editing software like Photoshop, or they don't understand quite how the apps work to edit the photo. It's really easy. It's like three steps. It just takes a couple of seconds and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually take a photo. Where should you take a photo? Hopefully you live in a house that has a window. The window is going to provide the best type of light you could possibly hope for to take a picture of anything, whether it's a selfie or a cake. You want to be next to a window. Now, we don't often have walls that are right in front of windows because that would be weird, but usually you can find a corner that's adjacent to a window. So this is pretty much the only wall in my whole house that's right next to a window that also doesn't have like another window or a door or something else on the wall. It does have stuff on it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna have to move a couple of things, but it's just gonna take a couple seconds. Okay, so now that I've got my background cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick snap with my cell phone. As I'm taking my picture, I am just making sure that I'm holding my hand very steady. I'm touching the center of my phone so that it locks onto the cake and make sure that everything's in focus. And I'm just going to take a photo. And then, so I have some extra pictures for social media and I don't make a lot of cakes, I'm gonna take a couple extra pictures. A little close up of the flowers perhaps, and maybe a detail shot of the bark texture. Okay, so let's edit these. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit this photo on our phone. Most phones have some built-in editing controls. On an iPhone, the editing controls are just right down here. So I'm gonna press these three little lines and that's going to bring up some options down here where you can crop or you can apply filters, but we're not gonna worry about any of that. We're gonna to go to this little dot circle with the dots around it and that's gonna bring up some options, light, color, and black and white. And we wanna to go to light. And it will go to the first option, which is just basically kind of like how much light is in this photo. And usually I can fix a photo with just this option. By increasing the light, it will increase the brightness of the cake. And it's kind of like you want it to be almost washed out, where you just want it to be light and bright and the whites to be really white. And that's what people generally think looks really good on Instagram is really bright photos. And then you can come and press the little three dots up in the right hand corner, this, these ones right here, those three dots. And then you can go to color and just pump up the saturation a little bit. And that gives you a pretty nice photo with only adjusting two things. And 99% of your photos can be edited this way. Another thing you can do if you want to um, take your video editing up a notch is you can use an app called VSCO and it's a free app. And I'm just going to open up the photo that's not edited right here and press this button down at the bottom with the two little circles. And this is going to take you to an area where you can apply different filters that are kind of presets like Instagram has. I don't recommend you use anything like that. Just press this one right here to bring it back to no filter. And what you're gonna do is come down to this thing with the two dots again. And that's gonna open up your actual editing controls. And in here, you can do some of the same things you could do on your phone, which is like adjusting the exposure, the brightness and the saturation. But this also has some controls that take it a step further, like being able to adjust the sharpness, which is sometimes really nice, or being to, able to adjust the clarity, which is also kind of like sharpness. And you can adjust individual parts like highlights and make those brighter or softer and making shadows less or more. And you can even change the temperature from warmer to cooler. Definitely important if you took a picture like in your kitchen and it's really yellow because of the overhead lights and then you can adjust the temperature to cooler so it's more of a bright light. So I'm gonna come to 
exposure and just brighten that up a little bit. So my whites are really white and then I'm going to come into my saturation and bump that a little bit up so that my colors are nice and bright and just looking through. I don't think there's really anything else that I need to do. So now I am ready to post this picture on Instagram. If you're lucky enough to have an outdoor space like me, whether it's a porch or a backyard or whatever, it's really great to take pictures outside as well, as long as it's not too sunny because you don't want any harsh light. So if this was a really bright sunny day, outside is probably not gonna work. Best to go ahead and take the picture inside next to the window. Since I don't have a backdrop here, I do have like, you know, some of my neighbor's yard in this picture. So if you have the portrait function on your phone, it's really great for this particular situation. So I can put the portrait function on, back up, focus on my cake, and that blurs out the background pretty well. Okay, so this is the picture that I took outside. And you can see that it looks pretty nice and bright. And, um, you know, it's got a nice natural backdrop, which is a little bit distracting, but it's better than, you know, a messy kitchen. And then I also have the picture that I took with portrait mode where the background is a little bit blurred out and that looks pretty nice. And honestly, when you have enough lighting, you don't really need to do some adjusting, but I still could if I wanted to go into my camera mode and brighten this up a little bit. And go to brightness and then go to my color and bump up the saturation just to make it a little bit more Wow. So that's it. That's everything you pretty much need to know about how to edit your photos on your phone really simply and really quickly. You don't need any fancy software, although it does help. <laughs> the most important thing to always remember to get great photos of your cakes is to just use natural light. You don't need fancy lighting. You just need a window. I don't have a lot of light in my house, but I do have windows. So. Wait for it to be daylight, even if it's an overcast day, even better actually. I don't have a lot of lights in my house. I don't have a lot of windows in my house. So I get it, we don't all have these really bright light spaces, but you do have a window and you usually have daytime. So just wait for the sun to come up, put your cake by the window and take a picture. You can do it, you got this. I'm Liz Merrick. If you want to see more of my amazing cake decorating tutorials, go ahead and check me out on sugargeekshow.com. Follow me on Instagram at sugargeekshow. And if you liked this video and thought that it was super helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to all of my other cool videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.